Welcome friends to the fourth part of the series where we'll be creating a chat app in Flutterflow using a Superbase database. In this video, we'll be implementing the function to allow the user to upload an image and set that image as his or her profile picture. So first of all, we will have to go to our Superbase project. And on the left hand side over here, we will have to go to storage and we have to create a new bucket, which is basically where we will store the uploaded images in. So we click on create a new bucket. And as for the name of the bucket, we can just name it anything we want. So let's say user. And we want this to be a public bucket so that anyone can access this public bucket. So now that we've created the bucket, we want to create a new folder. And for this folder, we can name it as profile pictures. And now we have to go down to this policies over here under configuration. And we have to create a new storage policy. And we can just click on for full customization. We can give the policy a name. We want to allow access to all users for now. And for the allowed operations, we just want to select all. Select, insert, update, as well as delete. So we can just leave it like that for now. And we can just click on review and we'll save the policy. So now the policies have been successfully saved and anyone can access this storage bucket over here. And now that we have created our storage for our images in Superbase, we can go back to our Flutterflow dashboard and we have to once again go to settings and integrations and under Superbase, we want to get the schema and we will click on yes. So now our Flutterflow and Superbase are linked together. Then we can go back to our widget tree and we can select the circle image and we can add an action to the circle image. So on tap, we want to add an action and we can search for upload and under upload data, there's this action to upload slash save the media, which is what we want to do for the upload type. We'll just select super base and for the bucket name value, it will be the name of the bucket that we created. So it's user and for the folder path, it will be the name of the folder right here. So profile underscore pictures. For the media source, we can allow the user to either choose to take a picture, take a new picture or choose from the gallery. We don't want to allow a video. We only want to allow photos. And yep, we can just close this because the action to upload the image to Superbase is done. With the circle image selected, we can go to properties and we can scroll down. And for this path value, instead of this default image over here, we want to select a new. We want to set the path value to a new variable, which is the widget state. And under the widget state, there's this new option for uploaded file URL. So we'll just select that. And in the case where there is no uploaded file URL just yet, if the user has not uploaded a new profile image, we want to give it a default variable value so that there is still an image showing and it's not an error image or null image. So you can just, I just found this icon, upload image icon over here. So I'll just copy this image address and I'll just paste it here in this default variable value. So I'll click confirm. And now the last thing that we have to do is that we have to go back to our super base dashboard and under table editor, under our user data table, we want to add one additional column. And this column will be the profile image path. It will be of type text as well. And we will save this. So this profile image path will hold the image path to the user's profile image that they just uploaded. 
And now since we, cha we just changed our table, we added a new column in our Superbase table, we want to go back to settings and integrations. And under Superbase, we want to get schema once again. So that updates on Flutterflow as well. So now we can go back to our confirm button and we can change this second action. We want to add one more field, which is the profile image path. And we want to set this value to our widget state and we want to set it to the uploaded file URL. So we can close that. Hmm. It's strange that this is not showing, but okay, let's see what happens if we try to test our app now. All right, so Tesma has just loaded up. Let's try to create a new account once again. And now that we are brought to the setup profile page, we can try clicking on this circular image to upload our image. You can see that we can choose an image from our gallery. So this will mimic your phone gallery. Let's just choose this just axolotl image. You can see after some time it has up and you can see after some time it has updated this profile image over here. Give it a valid phone number. Give it a name. And then finally a bio. Then when we click on confirm. It should bring us to the home page, which is exactly what we want. And now you can see in our Superbase dashboard, we have inserted a new row with a profile image path over here. And if we go to our storage under user and under profile pictures, we can see that the image has indeed the image has indeed been uploaded over here as well. All right, that marks the end of today's video. In the next video, we'll be creating this profile page where the user will be able to see their profile as well as their profile picture, their name, as well as their bio. Stay tuned for the next video and I hope to see you there. Goodbye.